I posted a quote on Instagram earlier by the Dalai Lama. When he was asked what surprised him the most about humanity, he answered, man, because he sacrifices his health in order to make money. Then he sacrifices money to recuperate his health. And then he is so anxious about the future that he does not enjoy the present. The result being that he does not live in the present or the future. He lives as if he is never going to die and then dies having never really lived. If you need to rewind that and listen to it again, do it. Let's get one thing straight. These are just my opinions, okay? I have struggled with finding purpose and I was very lost in my early 20s and you know it's a huge reason why I joined the military. That was definitely God's calling on my life. But what I'm realizing more and more is people get so lost trying to find their purpose, their one purpose in life, their, you know, the reason that they were put on this earth, that they lose sight of all the impact that they're currently having on what they're doing right at the moment. So I don't buy it anymore that we, you know, that humans are created for one purpose in their life. You have to find it and you have to, you know, explore and like that's the whole reason. I don't buy that anymore. I think through our life, we have many purposes. I think our purpose changes as we get older, as we change jobs, as we start a family, as we meet new people. I think that, you know, I fully believe that nobody comes into your life by accident. You have these gifts that God gives you for a reason. So, you know, say your gift is faith or your gift is prayer or your gift is like connection with people. He's given you these things to use on earth to make an impact, live a mission driven life. Like that's why I don't think that, you know, people should be wasting their time trying to find this one big purpose. Yes, find something that fulfills you, but there's not just like one overarching thing that once you do it, you're like, all right, tsh, check that box, I'm done. Like that was my purpose. What I do suggest is if you are feeling lost, to try as many things as possible. Write down what makes you feel good, what you love doing, what interests you, and then go out and try those things. Nobody is stopping you. And I think that's the biggest thing is people, you know, like the Dalai Lama said, people just, they act like they're never going to die. So they think, okay, maybe one day, one day I'll do this, or one day I'll quit my corporate job and chase my, you know, chase my real dream. Wake up, it's today, today is that day. Like. I'm not saying go quit your job and you know not be able to provide for your family, but find find a way, make a way, find a way, pray to God, like pray for him to open doors that you never thought possible. Start doing the things that are going to that are going to push you closer to that goal. Because I'm telling you right now, your purpose is not to work and pay bills and then die. All right, your purpose is not to go to work, sit in traffic, and then come home and watch Netflix for five hours to zone out. I've had to ask myself a few things recently. Am I truly listening to what God is telling me or am I listening to the world and people around me and my family members' opinions? Because we, the world can be very loud. Other people's opinions, your parents, your siblings, your best friend, your spouse, like, People can be loud and they just want what's best for you, but only you know what's best for you. So instead of trying to just, instead of thinking that there's this one big moment that you're going to have, that, yes, this is my purpose. Think of it more like, all right, what do I love? What can impact the world? Yeah, if you have faith, what glorifies the kingdom? You don't have to be some world shaker, huge like, start a seven figure company to have impact and to feel that feeling of fulfillment. Maybe it's raising kids. Maybe it's cooking dinner for your spouse. I think we waste a lot of time searching and trying to get that one big aha moment when reality is like, you're in your purpose right now or else you wouldn't be where you're at. I was saying earlier, if you're not happy there, well then that's a reason. There's a reason for that. So go chase what does make you happy. A lot of times we just get in this rat race of keeping up with the Joneses or like, you know, comparing our lives. Like never compare yourself to what God's doing in someone else's life. That's not your life and that's not for you. Maybe God has something completely different on a, on a complete different avenue, different path than them. Maybe you're just missing it because you're too focused on like what other people are getting or the blessings that's happening in their life 
to realize like God's like, no, hey, like I've got, I've got this over here for you. You just have to focus on me first and then it will be revealed to you. You don't have to spend every waking moment trying to make a dream work that you're not really passionate about or you know trying to hustle having six jobs just because you know it seems cool or you're trying to get six figures like money is not everything and there's this thing called hedonic adaptation and hit a certain level of income once you go over that level you're gonna think oh my gosh this is gonna bring so much more happiness like i'm gonna be able to afford more things but reality like your expenses go up as well Money does not give you happiness, but it gives you opportunities. So we are not surrounding ourselves with the type of company that is going to help us think higher and give us different perspective. In the Bible, it says a company of fools suffers harm. And I fully believe that. You become most like the top five people that you hang out with. It's like the five by five rule. The, the five things that you read the most, the five television shows that you watch, um, the five songs or the type of music that you listen to, the five people that you surround yourself with, like you start to emulate that without even knowing or recognizing. That is my whole point to all of this. Don't get caught up in what other people are doing. Your family members want you to do what the world is telling you to do. If you're not happy, move. Like move, do something different. And I know it might not be like, it might not be that easy, but I'm telling you, like, you are a human, you are not a tree, you can move, you can change your life at any moment. Hey, like, this is where God has got me right now, so I'm going to listen to him, and if I'm not happy, I'm going to pray for him to open a door, and, you know, keep your eyes open. Please, please do not have the mindset of, if, then I'll be happy. Like, if I can get to six figures, then I'll be happy. If I can get married and find a spouse who loves me, then I'll be happy. Happiness does not come from external things. Happiness is you. You are, it's internal. And like, I, when I say happiness, I mean like joy. I mean the, the, the bottom of your heart, like knowing that, hey, I'm, am I healthy? Can I wake up? Can I get out of bed? Can I go for a run? check health all day every day I would take my health over anything people that are successful often don't just make it on their own like they either invest in a coach or have somebody that they can look up to that's already done it and emulate what they do a great quote that I heard was find somebody who has what you want and do what they do you're gonna hang out with a bunch of people who value drinking on the weekends and living for Friday and eating, you know, eating pizza and smoking. Like you're not going to have a luscious life. You're not going to have abundance. And I'm sorry. Like you're just you're not. Like I said, a company of fools suffers harm. But if you put yourself around people who have morals and don't live for the weekends and they're like actually investing in themselves and their minds and constantly trying to do personal growth and learn and challenge each other, your whole life will change. Whether this is a message to get new friends, level up, and well Shay, like how do I find new friends? Honestly, like I meet people everywhere. Go to a coffee shop and if there's somebody you run into or looks interesting or is reading something like that's intriguing to you, go start a conversation. Like people are not going to bite. The worst that can happen is they just blow you off and so what? I mean, you're back to where you started. Like running motivation groups, and there's a ton of free resources online to like get in touch with people. Um, if you have some money, invest in a mentor or a life coach or some sort of coach that guides you to you know what you feel like you want out of life. Don't listen to the haters because there's always going to be haters. And if you don't have any haters, you're not doing something right. Like if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything. Follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to be more active on there and I often post growth and stuff like that on there. So I'll link it down below in the description. And tell me what you think. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? I would love to hear your opinions. Until then, I am Shay Taylor and I will catch you guys later.